This is the Midnight Express 43 Open, and if YouTube has ever served you footage from Hallover Inlet of boats passing through there, you'll have seen these things flying through there, and to use American parlance, absolutely crushing it. This particular one has got four 450 horsepower Mercury racing engines. It'll do 85 miles an hour. I've always wanted to have a close look at one of these, so let's go and do it. I'm Jack Haynes, welcome to Yacht Buyer. When it comes to specking your Midnight Express, the sky really is the limit. You start with, well, you pick your hull length and then you just fill it out however you want. It is a blank sheet of paper. So you can have whatever you want on deck, any paint color you want. This is, let's call it a midnight blue, shall we? But it's a sort of lovely sparkly blue mixed with this tan leather. I think it looks absolutely amazing. And you know you're in for a hell of a ride when back here, you've got handholds this substantial sewn into the seats. So you can cling on and then look at this screen here, which is telling you just how fast you're going and quite how quickly your hair is being pulled out of your forehead. It's not all about speed though. And once you get to where you're going enormously quickly, you've got to enjoy it. So we've got a wet bar back here. You can have a grill as an option. This particular boat's not got it, but I've got a sink here, a chopping board. Down here, you've got a couple of coolers to put your drinks in. There's a bit of storage back here in the transom in front of these obviously body color Mercury 450 racing engines massive sound system of course and this one this is quite a nice touch you've got a shower head built in here so you can come out after you've had a swim and have a proper shower here on the aft deck and it all drains away off the back of the deck here moving forward yes it's a full walk around design it feels incredibly safe and secure there are no guardrails but these come up very high they're topped in lovely grippy material and then you've got this nice vinyl cushioning all the way around so if you're moving around you're bumping around you know it's not going to hurt you have this really substantial hard top giving you something to grab onto as you move down the boat and obviously providing a really good amount of shade over this seating area and the helm station talking the helm station this is the business end i absolutely love these seats triple row here triple row here and as the helms person you are slap bang in the middle this is such a cool view you've got these three enormous garmin screens in front of you the carbon fiber effect on the dash these chunky mercury throttles under your right hand interestingly they don't fit a joystick despite having four engines because they say the mechanism doesn't like going along at the sort of speeds that this thing can do so you've got bow and stern thruster which is a good idea on something that's so long and thin and then you can bury the throttles and do more than motorway speeds in the UK. It really is quite amazing. Moving forward, I like the fact you've got this lovely big grab handle here to help ease your way forward. Cleats here. The other thing I should mention is there are there is some practical stuff going on here as well. It's not all about speed and performance. You've got built-in fender lockers into the top sides there. They've got those flat foam fenders and then they slot in perfectly so that you've always got somewhere to put them. And there is storage dotted about all over the place in the deck. Nice line lockers drained out so you can fill them with, with kit if you need to. Then right forward, if you really want to scare yourself, this is probably where you're going to sit. These three recliners here, they've got the armrests. You'll probably leave your fingernails in if you're traveling along at top speed. And you've got cup holders built in here as well. That's really nicely done. And then a couple of chaise longs here. And oh look, another Garmin screen. So that again, you know exactly how fast you're tearing along. And this actually is the table. So it's set into the deck, push a button, it rises up to either fill in and make a full sun pad here, then it rises up again and turns into a, a table here. It's, not, it's locked on this boat for the show, but it is working on the boat next door, so we'll get a cutaway of that over there. But despite how open it is, it feels really nice and safe here. I really like it. It's a you know, nice flat deck, nothing to trip over. Obviously, it's incredibly comfortable. You've got cup holders dotted around all over the place. Yeah, cool space. But there's one more place that I need to show you, and it's a bit of a surprise. Now back here at the console, if I push this button, we have our sliding doors, and there is a cabin. I'll pop down, give you a sense of how big it is. I don't think for a second anyone is suggesting you would want to sleep down here. I mean, you can, there's an infill cushion, you can see the table's down at the moment and you've got a very short little berth there, but no, it's not for that. It's to come and cool off, you know, fry up the aircon, get in the shade, 
and, and you know, get out of the elements if it's, if it's really oppressive. But really the most important thing about down here is the fact that you've got a proper bathroom because you don't want to stop the party and have to go ashore because someone needs a wee wee. So you have this. It's, uh, you know, not enormous, but it's somewhere to go to the toilet, which is really exactly what you need on a boat of this style. Well, that's one ticked off my boating bucket list. It's not quite driving it, but it was really nice to get on board and see one of these Midnight Expresses in the flesh, and it didn't disappoint. Let me know what you think about the boat in the comments below, though. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the tour, please do give us a like, and if you'd like to watch more of our videos, you can click up here, and if you'd like to subscribe, please click here. Thanks for watching.